spot, huh? So right now is a pretty cool time here at the hatchery because a lot of our eggs are hatching. So all the eggs that we took earlier this year in the fall, they've been sitting in these incubators behind me for about two months, and they're finally now just popping out of their shells. Remotely close. So each one of these little pink eggs has a baby fish in it. You can see over here where some of them have started to hatch, but most of this incubator isn't quite there yet. You'll have to forgive the strobe effect going on here. That's just a byproduct of the headlamp. You can see in each of these eggs the little eyeball of the fish. If you take one of these guys and give them a gentle little squeeze, they'll do nothing. Okay, try another one. So I should probably explain why it's so dark in here. Uh, we keep the fish in the dark because when they're in the bright lights, they get really active. They're swimming around a lot. And when they're swimming around a lot, they're burning off a lot of their energy reserves. We don't want them to do that. We want all the fish to stay nice and calm. So when we have the lights off, they'll all settle down and just kind of hang out. Uh, luckily, we can have these red lights on, these red lights, so we can at least kind of see what's going on. The red lights don't get the fish quite as excited so we can at least you know walk around and not bang into everything all day otherwise everything's done by headlamp uh, mine's right here blinding the heck out of me right now so here's how it looks with just the red lights on which should make it pretty obvious why we have to use headlamps all the time can't see anything here's just one of our incubators each one we put 400,000 fish in We may put 400,000 fish in each incubator, but that doesn't mean they're all going to survive. So you can see here, all the little fish mixed in with some dead eggs. Now these might have died because they didn't have enough oxygen, or maybe they weren't even fertilized from the get-go. So part of what we have to do now is pull all this dead stuff out of here so it doesn't start getting all fungusy and then kill all of the fish that actually did hatch. So what we do is we take so we take these baskets here, and what happens is all the little fish can fall through these gaps. The dead eggs, they're too fat, so they get stuck in the basket, and that's how we kind of filter out all the dead stuff. It's a pretty straightforward process to get all these dead eggs out. So all you gotta do is take a little scoop of them, and you slowly start bouncing it up and down. And you can see all the little fish that are falling right through the cracks. That water is cold. If you give the incubator a gentle swirl, it'll help focus all the dead eggs right to the middle for you. Out of the 400,000 eggs we'll put in each one of these incubators, we'll get about 95% of those that will hatch. So we give these guys a pretty good chance at survival. Uh, compared to the wild, they might only have five, definitely less than 10% of eggs that are gonna hatch. So 95, that's pretty good. So it's always cold in here. It's probably, I don't know, low 40s or something. Uh, this is what we work in from October until January, February. It's going to take us an hour or two to pull all the dead eggs out of each of these incubators. And we can have up to 400 or so of these, so you can imagine it takes us quite a while. This time of year is a good time to listen to podcasts, music, anything you got to keep your sanity. I'm so cold. Once we get the incubator to this point, cleanliness wise, we have to add a bunch of these little plastic things called saddles. You can see why they're called saddles, I mean they're kind of saddle shaped. 
Uh, if we don't add these to the incubators, what happens is all these fish are just going to dog pile on top of each other and suffocate each other. So these give the fish kind of little nooks and crannies to hide in so they're not just sitting on top of their buddies. I can see the little guys swimming around there in the saddles. And these guys will be good to sit like this in here until springtime. It may not be your typical office environment, but this is my office. Happy birthday!